coming up. Green lights turned on, set to run. Lua's running. They're ready. And racing, Mr. Ibrox about fourth away. Speed here from Mapunga Stella. Challenged now by Dakota Roxy, and they break two lengths on Sentinel McLaren. Now, Mr. Ibrox is trying to find the rail, but Rhonda Lilly's keeping him off the rail, and they're bumping back at the rear. So Mapunga Stella's on top. She led by a length, but she leaves the rail, and the roughie of the field, Sentinel McLaren, is going underneath of her, but now she responds. A length away third, Dakota Roxy. Mr. Ibrox finally found the rail. He's starting to charge home, but he's three off the lead. Turning, Mapunga Stella clear. Mr. Ibrox is going to come late with also Sentinel McLaren, but Mapunga Stella defeats the favourite, Mr. Ibrox. Sentinel McLaren third, then Dakota Roxy and Rhonda Lilly. And the winner, number two, Mapunga Stella just kept bobbing for Laurie Carlin. Too strong. She wanted to get away from the rail mid-race and gave everything a chance to run her down, but she kept finding Mr. Rybrox wanted to find the rail. He eventually got there, but it was too late. He storms home late to run second. And number six, Sentinel McLaren, the roughy, gets third ahead of the four, which is Dakota Roxy. 34.70 was the run. So just outside her PB. That was her second look here in SA, so it's a good run. Trained by Laurie Carlin, who... And he has a very small team these days, Laurie, but very astute trainer. Two, eight, six and four. It's a length by half a length after race number three.